Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Builder figure, Zemnu figure, or Zemnu. Now to complete this Builder figure, you've got to bear in mind that you need to buy six of the figures in this wave. Uh, there are seven figures in the waves, but you do not need to buy the Doctor Doom if you just want to complete your Zemnu. For me, this was a really easy sell. Uh, I actually really, really want the figures in this wave more than I wanted the Builder figure. Uh, so for me, Zemnu is the icing on the cake. There's some excellent characters in this wave that I'm looking forward to doing a review on later. But I think Zemnu is a interesting choice uh, to make a builder figure of uh, from Hasbro's point of view uh, as obviously the character is fairly obscure he's really only had a handful of appearances uh, in the Marvel Universe uh, since his inception um, although obviously more recently he has made more of an impact in the Immortal Hulk run of comics. I have to be honest it isn't a character I would have been falling over myself to get a hold of uh, but I do think it's really nice to have a you know, another obscure character in toy form. I think this is one of the areas that, you know, Marvel Legends really excels because they're able to really expand the universe and bring a lot more uh, new and interesting characters to the line. So I think Zemnu is a very welcome addition uh, to the line. Okay, so the figure itself stands roughly eight inches tall. Uh, he does have obviously a big uh, presence. And, uh, you know, overall the presentation of this figure is really nice. There's a little bit of a paint wash going on, a little bit of blue paint wash there to give him a bit more uh, texture and shading, which is really nice. Uh, the, the red of the eye is incredibly vivid, so I really like that. It's a really good, accurate mold. And the articulation is solid. Now, the weakest link would be the head, uh, because obviously it is a uh, hard plastic there, so although the it is a ball-jointed neck, uh, so it, in theory it can move all around, it is really hindered by the hard plastic pieces in the shoulders and the neck itself. So it can move from side to side, but it cannot move up and down particularly. It does have the ball-jointed shoulders, of course, uh, which have a fantastic range of motion to go swing out and backwards, uh, which is great. It does have the bicep swivel and the single-jointed elbow. It does, of course, have the wrist articulation that swivel 360 degrees, and it is hinged so his hand can go uh, out quite quite a lot and in a little bit, which is nice. He does have waist articulation, of course, so he can he can spin from side to side, which is great, uh, but he is massively let down by the ab crunch. The articulation is there, but uh, you can't really get the benefit of it, really, because what he has is this very hard plastic belt, uh, which really impedes movement. The legs, of course, are solid. They do have that ball-jointed uh, hip joint there, so the legs can swing all the way out, which is great. Uh, he has the thigh swivel, and of course, his legs kick forwards and backwards. He also has the double-jointed knees, which is fantastic, and he's got the ankle pivot there. There's not a great lot of give in terms of moving the foot from side to side, to be honest, or yeah, and hinging it forwards and backwards, but, but it is there. It is there. So he comes with a closed fist and an open hand. And I really like the detailing on the open hand. I love that you can see the sort of the circuitry there in the palm. Um, I think that's a nice little touch and, uh, you know, it looks really good. And uh, yeah, again, it's just a hallmark of the character, which I think is, you know, is, is nice to have. So here he is standing next to the Wendigo Builder figure. Clearly here you can see that Hasbro have utilised the Wendigo mould for Zemnu as the base. Um, I think it's a smart move. It, it's very authentic and it works really well. Uh, there are of course lots of little changes as you can see to say the, the bottom flares there, uh, the, the belt piece uh, of fur is, is slightly shorter on Zemnu um, and of course the shoulder piece as well is shorter and uh, more condensed. Um, they are roughly standing at roughly the same height and you can see that on the Wendigo figure there's a more vibrant blue and more of it, a more liberal use of it on, on him. Um, which I think is a really nice effect, but I think it's great to have it more understated on Zemnu. Although obviously Wendigo is getting the better end of the deal when it comes to the Av Crunch, because obviously there's no hindrance there uh, to him using that. Here we can see Zemnu stand up against a regular Marvel Legends size figure, so a six inch scale figure. Uh, so we've got him next to Spider-Man here, and you can see how obviously you know Zemnu towers above uh, Spidey here, uh, and this is you know looks like a really good uh, scale. Love this, and uh, yeah, feels. Feels what a, a, like a builder figure, you know, a big oversized figure really to menace the others. So I love this. I think this looks fantastic. And of course, here he is standing next to his nemesis, the Hulk. Uh, of course, there are many, many different Hulk figures that you could use to stand him against. I've picked one of my personal favorites, which is the Toy Biz uh, Marvel Legends Face Off Hulk, uh, just to get a 
sense of scale but i i love this i think this looks absolutely fantastic uh, i think it'd look good against any version of the hulk really that you want to put them up against and i really love the the color contrast between these two and how they've managed to make xenu actually quite visually striking uh <laughs> that's not not an easy thing to do considering it's just a mass affair but i think they've done a really nice job of bringing him to life here so overall for me i th i think this is a really good solid builder figure Zemanu is not a character that I was particularly interested in. It's not one that if he'd been released single carded, I would have been in a mad rush to buy. Um, I love that he's come as part of a wave that's actually a really solid wave of figures that I really wanted. And I'm really pleased having built him to have him in the collection. I think there is the danger that he could have looked very similar to the Wendigo builder figure that we had a few years ago. But actually, he stands out on his own and he, he looks visually striking and definitely you know unique and individual uh, which i think is fantastic when you put him up against the hulk i think he really comes to life i love the color contrast between the two characters and they they seem to just visually spark off each other and yeah i can definitely see the appeal of this character the more the more i play with him the more i have him in different positions um and and amidst the collection he definitely seems to come to life and and uh, and dominate uh, the display really of course, I do have a few gripes, uh, which is going to cost him a star, uh, because I do think he is hindered by his articulation. I don't think it's been thought through um, particularly well. So, obviously, he does have that hard plastic belt, which does stop that ab crunch, which you can't get away from. That's really disappointing. Uh, likewise, the head as well. Uh, I, you know, I know the best of intentions there. It's got the right joint, but sadly, you know, it, you can't really do very much with it, and that's that's such a shame. So ultimately for me, this is a four star figure. I think it's very pleasing. It's a surprise uh, for me to, to be so good. Um, I really like it as a figure. I think it stands well on its own. And like I said, I, I like what they've done with it. Um, but ultimately he is, he is massively held back by that articulation there, which you know uh, definitely costs him a star. I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please do give it a like uh, and remember to subscribe as I'll be posting more videos soon.